One, two, three, four. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive You were only waiting for this moment to arrive You were only waiting for this moment to arrive Hey everyone and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today I'm very excited to share with you a very long overdue lesson on the Beatles' Blackbird. This is a must know song for any serious acoustic guitar player, especially those of you interested in finger picking. I got tabs and chord sheets available at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Thanks so much to all of you who have supported there. Now, let's get started with your lesson. Okay, a close look at the fretboard and also my right hand. We're in standard tuning and we're going to begin with our intro section. It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have some simplified chords here. The best thing about this song is you never have to have more than two fingers on the fretboard at once. So we're going to begin with a simplified G major chord. Let's get the chords down first and then I'll add in the right hand picking technique. So beginning with the G major, we have our third finger on the third fret of the low E string and the open B string. The next chord we'll need is an A minor 7, which we're just going to play with the open A string and the first fret B string. So far we have. Next we're going to go up to a B minor chord. Alright, this is also simplified, so we have the second fret A string and the third fret of the B string. You might recognize that as being a piece of your B minor bar chord, right? Put those three together. Then we're going to head way up to a high G chord. That's going to be 10th fret A string and 12th fret B string. And that reveals the two most common chord shapes that we'll be using throughout this song. The minor shape here on B minor and this major shape, 10 and 12, two frets apart. And we're going to be using those shapes throughout the song. They're going to be transposed as we move from fret to fret. So far we have. Now adding in our right hand technique. Every single time you pluck a chord, you're going to flick through to the G and B string with the right hand. So watch this. We have the G major chord. We have the A minor 7. The B minor. And way up here on this high G chord, we're going to switch it up to our second uh, right hand technique. A great little strumming pattern there. Um, 
in order to get this down, practice saying, double down up root up down, double down up root up down. I'm plucking the double with my thumb and middle finger. Double down up, and that down up is with the pointer finger, kind of using my, a little bit of my nail there. The thumb grabs the root again. Then we're gonna go up with the pointer finger, down with the pointer finger. You repeat that twice. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Double down up, root up, down. Okay, with your intro section complete, you're ready to move on to the verse. We're gonna use the exact same thing that we had for our intro to get it started. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. That'll get us into this next section, which sounds like this. Alright, and we'll stop right there. It's the section he sings. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. So, we're beginning that part, recycling that major chord shape that we had over here earlier for uh, the key of G. Now we're going to be playing it in C. So that's the third fret of the A string and the fifth fret of the B string. Pluck those two strings together and then give it a strum. The G string and the B string. Next, we're going to introduce another chord type that will repeat itself throughout the song, a diminished shape. Middle finger goes up to the fourth fret of the A string and the first finger dives down to the third fret of the high E string. Pluck and strum. Now, here's a little pro tip for you. If you're fretting a note, you're plucking it, okay? So, starting off with the C chord, to the C sharp diminished. Now we're gonna repeat that exact same movement, but starting here on the fifth fret. Okay, so that was D major, and then D sharp diminished. C. C sharp, D, D sharp. All right, next we're going to use our extended strumming pattern uh, in the key of E minor. So we have that minor shape, seventh fret and eighth fret. A string, seventh fret, B string, eighth fret. Okay, do the same exact thing, but now you're gonna drop the root down. So this becomes from E to E flat. So we'll call this E flat major. You put all that together, we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E minor, E flat major. All right, and now you're ready to move on to the final section of your verse. All your life. Okay, so that began with the D major chord, the pluck and the strum, then we're going to go back to that C sharp diminished chord. Make sure that you have your chord sheet from uh, patreon.com slash swift lessons, uh, so that way you can follow along and, and use the chord key that I've provided. So the D to the C sharp diminished. All your C major chord life is extended. All right, so then after the C major chord, you'll have a C minor chord. So how do we turn this major into a minor? Well, the answer is always flat the third. This is your root, this is your third. So flat it, and it becomes minor. All your life. Now we're gonna flat the entire thing. It'll go from being C minor to B minor. The extended pattern. All right, now a new shape. We're gonna go to A7. That's when we have our first finger here on the second fret of the B string and the open A string ringing clear. Flat that to a minor third. Now we have the first fret B string for A minor seven before resolving to the root chord G. All that together sounds like this. Extended pattern, double down. 
down, up, root, up, down, double down, up, root, up, down, double down, up, root, up, down, double down, up, root, up, down. An extended pattern on the G as well. Now it's very important to note that when you get to the G chord, the root is on the low E string, so make sure that your thumb is uh, playing that note instead. Okay, back to the fretboard, and we're moving on to turnaround A. This is a little section that comes in after your verse, and it's gonna sound like this. So if I'm coming out of my verse, I'd have D major. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arrive. And it comes in right here on C major. All right, just like that, we have the C chord, and sometimes I'll play it with my pinky or my ring finger. It's really your choice. We will notice that I go back and forth. So the C major chord will be short, just a double strum. The B minor chord, double strum. Then we're gonna do a long A7 chord. Remember, that's when you have the second fret of the B string and the open A. The extended pattern there. Now the A minor seven. The extended pattern there as well. And then the G major chord gets the same pattern. All right, you put that all together, we'd have, starting from All Your Life. All your life, just instrumental. Moment right. Here comes the turnaround. Okay, next we would have verse number two. It's played exactly the same as verse number one, so we're just gonna move on to our chorus. Okay, getting started with our chorus section. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Alright, so that began with the F major chord shape. We're recycling that major shape, putting it here on the 8th fret of the A string. The double pluck and the strum. Then we're going to do the same thing for E minor. Okay, so E minor is a 7th fret, 8th fret. A string, B string. Bring that down a whole step, or two frets, for D minor. Then a C major chord shape, we've already learned this one, it's 3 and 5. And then bring that down a whole step for B flat. Where we'll apply our extended strumming pattern and then bring it up a whole step. Double down up, root up, down. Okay, so if you put all that together, we have the F, the E minor, the D minor, the C major, the B flat major, the C major extended. All right, now, the second time around, we're gonna do mostly the same thing. The F chord, the E minor, the D minor, the C major, the extended B flat major. But this time around, you're just gonna go to the A7 chord, that second fret, B string. Same thing on an A minor seven. And the G chord, and right after that, you're gonna launch right back up to to begin your instrumental verse section. Okay, so up next you would have your instrumental verse. It's played the exact same way as verse one and verse two, so nothing new there. That's followed by chorus two, which is played the exact same way as chorus one, nothing new there as well. Following that, we have our intro reprise into a ritardando, which means slow down. So if we're coming out of that second chorus, Once you get to the G chord, jump into your intro reprise. Then once you get up to the high G chord, double down, up, root, up, down. The second time, repeat that, but start slowing. Followed by that, just go double strum, double strum. Slow down gradually. Maybe a little bit of whistling, just to emulate the track. So if you put all that together, we would have, starting from the chorus.
and that will be followed by Turnaround B. Okay, getting started with Turnaround B comes out of that retardando. We're going to slide away. sound just like that. So that was the uh, 10th fret, 12th fret, slide away, pluck those strings, and then let your fingers slide back down the neck. From there we have the G major chord, double strum, the A minor 7 chord, double strum, the B minor, double strum, the C major chord, back to the B minor, then we have the A7 chord, Double strum, these are all short. So short, 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 short. Then when you get to the A minor seven chord, first fret B string, long. Followed by the G major chord, long as well. All right, so I'll demonstrate that whole thing for you one time. So following turnaround B, we're going to reprise verse number one. Then we're going to use the very last section, you are only waiting for this moment to arise, and create a coda out of it. So starting from uh, the end of the verse where he says, all your life. All your life, you are only waiting for this moment to arise. Repeat that section. C major chord, you were only waiting for this moment to rise. One more time. You were only waiting for this moment to rise. And he ends with a double pluck and a strum. Okay, so that coda is just the C major chord, the B minor chord, the A7 chord, long. The A minor 7 chord, long as well, and the same treatment to the G major chord. You were only waiting for this moment to rise. All right, everyone, congrats. You've gotten down uh, the turnarounds, you've gotten down the verse, you've got your chorus down, and also your coda. You've mastered Blackbird, you're ready to perform. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on the Beatles' Blackbird. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to everyone who has supported at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Thanks for making these lessons possible. I got plenty more coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.